back to another episode of City Skyline. So today, uh, I was thinking about getting some ferry services set up around the city so we can get that all set up. Um, there is one stop here, though I'm almost wondering if we should bring it a little bit closer to the... Um, or make maybe make an additional stop here. Uh, that way people can get off of the ferry and then or the um, harbor and then go directly to the ferry just an idea um, that might expand it a little bit more so <clears throat> let's see here we have that one ferry stop not sure we're gonna have to tear up the road a little bit which is gonna be a little bit of a problem but it will be for the greater good so we can go ahead and just remove that road Makes them happy. And then we'll see if it can't fit in. That. We'll have to adjust the route a little bit. And we'll look that up there. Perfect. All right, so that should work. Um, I don't think it messes up the road too much, so we can just set up the transit line now. We'll have to delete some of this. I'm going to need that one. So we'll actually adjust that a little bit more so it's just one line. Oh, nope, don't want to delete that. So like that, perfect. All right, and let's see here. We can set up another one over here at this university, I think. Uh, we'll have to that in. I don't know if it's going to be, yeah, that's going to be a little bit too high. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it a little bit lower. Uh, we'll pull it out a little bit. And we'll see if we can't put it down on this level. And then we'll bring a road up to that part. Kind of blend it in a little bit. So works a little bit better. So that should be good.
So I think it's about time to dive into the fishing industry and we'll see if we can't get some of that all set up. So uh, we need to find a place to actually put the fishing industry to start with and it's a little, it's a little bit foggy at the moment. I can't really see anything. Uh, we might be able to put it here maybe or uh, let's see here. We have all that land still able to be developed so we might not it there per se i wouldn't mind having it near a industry area already but oh yeah we still have to set up that um oil industry too in this area that's gonna take a little bit of money we are making money now so that's good um we're getting about twelve thousand per se per uh week which is good um but let's see here um that's where the, the port is. I'm not sure if that's going to work well. We got all this space over here still. Though I don't really want industry going through here. I could do an underground connection maybe over on this side. Let's see if we can't set it up on this side over here. Uh, alternatively, we could put maybe... Fishing route over in this side. We do have some lower space that we can put it on. So let's see if we can't do that. Um, a little bit of extra traffic in this area won't be too bad. Uh, let's see here. Fishing industry. And we need fishing harbor. Fish farm. I don't know what we're going to want to fish. There's a lot of anchovy. And some salmon up there. Yeah, we're going to have to find a place that will allow us to fish what we want to, right? Um, so, I think this is shellfish. Tuna, we have a little bit around here. Not much in the line of other things up there. We do got some tuna over there. Some salmon... Probably say we'll probably just go with a regular fishing and uh, fishing one over on this side at the moment, and we can always branch off of it later, right? So let's try to set this up, and then what we'll do is we'll um, move on to.
with some small changes that I've made, I am going to be putting a airport over on this side. Um, I figure it will probably be large enough to put an airport. I tested it uh, just to see what the DLC is like, and uh, it's pretty different from the rest of the game. So I'll have to kind of experiment with it until we actually get something that will work. Um, I was going to put the industry area over on this side, but I decided not to because we have all that area that we can still expand to. And at the moment, um, the connections and stuff are too close together. So I removed that intersection, that off ramp thing here and ended up putting a line, um, just a junction, a bridge over, just so it's a little bit easier for them to get over. The, the exit's only over here, so it's not like they need to go far f compared to where they were, so that will probably work better. And then we'll have this area to kind of develop that we can, you know, upgrade and stuff like that. Uh, we have a lot of area around here that we can put some buildings and stuff, so. Um, at the moment, uh, I did put in a metro line, um, hoping to connect this up to the airport eventually. And it goes all the way around here. Um, there is a metro slash tram line that goes this way. And then this goes to a couple stops. There's this one over here. And then a little one... A little further down and then there's another one at the end right over here so right by the university uh, we still need to hook this up with a path though so let's see if I can find the right one trade school I think it's trade school that we have uh, let's see if we can't do that there we go all right, so that should hook up really nicely to the uh, tram line. There's a tree in the way. Let's, try, let's just remove that. <laughs> okay, so that's good. Um, the line's already functional. Um, hopefully people will start using it. There's only been five passengers. But when we get the airport up and running, I think it will create a demand for it for sure because it goes that way quite quickly. Um, it just goes like all the way around here. And then they don't need to travel. And people coming off of the ferry or the, um, what do you call it, the harbor, they can go directly to one of these stops, and there should be a stop somewhere around here. Yeah, right here for the tram line as well, so they can get right on to that and then go down the metro way, so that's the idea at least. Um, I'm putting some parking in as well, just so people have a place to go to the metro and stuff, so I'm trying to organize this one a little bit.
so I got this little area developed now. So we got uh, some actual, I don't know, like buildings for production for um, farming products like bread, things like that. So like products that are produced from like actual farming things. Um, I did kind of bend the rules a little bit and I have some... It, it not connected up directly to the highway, which is kind of by design. Uh, reason being is it would be most likely a one-way connection, so it would cause traffic over in here and at the other intersection. So I didn't really want that, and it just made more sense to, because to kind of limit how much buildings are in here, so if we take a look at what I've done, I've just basically added some very small dedicated plots for the production. This should limit how much is going to be produced, but it's also going to limit how much traffic is going to be in this area as well. So I decorated it by the putting down trees and stuff. They don't need the fertile soil here. There isn't actually any here, so I figured it would probably be best for that kind of thing. Um, one thing that we should probably, however, do is make sure that this um, district has smoke detection or smoke detector distribution. Oh, that's power. Uh, smoke detector. There we go. And that way, um, you know, if there's a fire or whatever, then someone from the fire department can easily get over there quickly. But outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.